Hello everyone. My name is Kim Tae Hyun. I'm from Korea and uh, teaching foreigners Korean language now. Uh, at the previous lesson, I already explained uh, polysemy, uh, which uh, means uh, words have many uh, different meanings. Uh, but uh, are written a uh, same a uh, same uh, and uh, today uh, I want to say about uh, polyphony uh, words uh, written uh, different heard very very uh, similar mm. written differently and uh, have different meanings but they are heard very very similar. Uh, this is homophone and in Korean uh, we have uh, those kinds of words so many. We have so many those kind of words. So uh, from time to time it is very difficult to uh, understand precisely when people say uh, with these words. So today I want to uh, uh, say about this. Okay, then let's get started. Uh, first, uh, this word, uh, ke and ke. Mm. Uh, the first uh, one is a i, i i i e. So, ke. Uh, but the second one is o i, oi 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 e. So, ke. Frankly speaking, uh, Korean people uh, can't um, distinguish uh, the precise pronunciation of this. So just in the context, we can understand uh, the correct meaning. Uh, and the first K, uh, this means uh, dog. Uh, but the second K means uh, crab. Uh, and these words, we and we. The first one, o plus e, o e, o e, o e, we. The second one, o plus e, o e, o e, o e, we. Uh, they are written differently and uh, they have different meanings. But uh, when you hear these, uh, these words, uh, it sounds very alike so just in the context as i already said just in the context we can distinguish the meanings the first word we uh, it means uh, why uh, but uh, the second word we this means um, outside Uh, these words, nega and nega. The first one, a i. So, i i i e, nega. The second one, o i, oi 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 e, nega. Uh, sound, very alike, yes? Mm, they sound very alike. Pronunciation, uh, difference of pronunciation is, is very, very, very little. But, they are written differently and they have different meanings. The first uh, nega means I. The second uh, nega means you. Uh, this word, uh, yegi, yegi. Uh, the first one is ya i, ya i, ya i, ya i, ye. The second one, yo i, yo i, yo i, yo i, ye. So, uh, <laughs> pronunciation is uh, very the same, uh, but the meanings of this are different. The first uh, one means uh, conversation, and the second one means uh, anticipation. Uh, okay, this word, uh, kage and kake. Uh, these are easier than uh, the others because the first one is ka ke ke 
어 플러스 이 어이 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 에. What the second one is 가 케. 음. 여 플러스 이 여이 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 예. So the first word 가 케. This means store. Uh, but uh, the second word 가 케. This means uh, ancestry. Uh, the pronunciation of uh, 에 and 예 uh, easier, easier to understand. So uh, I think this is not so uh, difficult um, even for you. Uh, okay, and these words 외국 and 외국. Uh, the first word 외국. This 오 plus 에 오에 오에 외. 외국. This means uh, Japan. What the second uh, one? 외국. O plus E. Oi, oi, oi. 외. 외국. This means uh, foreign country. Uh, as I already said many times, uh, even Koreans can't distinguish the correct uh, pronunciation of these words. So we just understand. Uh, the meaning of these words uh, just in the context so don't worry don't worry about this uh, you can you can you guys can also uh, can uh, better understand uh, the meanings of these words if you uh, know uh, these words uh, okay then this verb 배다 and 배다 uh, Uh, the first uh, verb 배다 uh, means uh, pregnant, Have a, having a baby, uh, pregnant. Uh, on the other hand, the second verb means uh, cut. Mm. The first one 아이, so 아이 아이 아이에 배다. The second one 어이, 어이 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 어이에 배다. They are uh, pronounced very similar, but uh, meanings are different. And they are written uh, differently also. Okay, then uh, these words, 같이 and 같이. The first one uh, means uh, value, but the second one means together. Uh, watch this. Uh, watch this uh, uh, second uh, word, 같이. This is written, 같이. Uh, but uh, why? Why this is pronounced like 같이? Because Korean alphabet, 티그, 트, when this is placed at the 받침, at the side, at the, uh, at the 받침, uh, and uh, with alphabet 이응, 이응, they together are uh, pronounced like 츠, 트 플러스 으, this 츠. So pronunciation of this word is 가, 치. Mm, remember this. I already explained about the pronunciation of 받침 uh, at uh, the other uh, video so you can uh, watch this video uh, in, uh, in my uh, YouTube channel I already uploaded uh, this video uh, okay then uh, this word Nara and Nara the first word Nara uh, means uh, nation or country the second one uh, is fly uh, with this also, you have to remember the rule of 받침. 받침 르 is moved to the uh, place of alphabet 이음. So, pronunciation of this 나라. For example, this words 싫어 and 싫어. Uh, watch this, watch this uh, first word. There are two 받침. 르 and 흐. 이 코리안 알파벳 흐. 
uh, when this is placed uh, at Pachim, you don't need to uh, say this. So, in conclusion, uh, only one Pachim Le uh, remains, and this uh, can be moved to the place of Iung. So, in conclusion, the pronunciation of this Shiro. Like the second word, Shiro. The first one means Shiro, means uh, dislike. But the second one, uh, verb Shiro, this means uh, carry. Mm. Their pronunciation is uh, almost the same, but they have different meanings and they are written differently. Okay, uh, today I uh, briefly explained uh, about uh, homophone uh, in Korean and uh, at the next lesson uh, I will explain the lengthness and shortness of Korean uh, words uh, which have uh, different meanings. Okay, then uh, see you next time. Have a good day. Thank you.